Hi and welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be a review of our minimal house here at uh, Ashifla, which is within the outskirts of Greater Accra region. So it's been between eight to nine months since we moved in here and so far it's been great i'm sure a lot of people will be wondering how has it been like uh, living here some people think this place is just an isolated place and so on so i want to take this opportunity or use this video to uh, talk about some of the things um, we've encountered or how it's been like so far living here so to get started we started off with this building project sometime in december 2021 and then we had it completed sometime in um, july uh, around july 2022 and we actually moved in in august 2022 that was actually our son's first um, you know birthday so we came in like a uh, day before uh, when he turned um one so uh, we've been living here since um i guess 2022 till now today is um the 2nd of april 2023 and I must say, it's been so, so great, you know, moving from where we were previously to this place. I'm sure um, maybe in some of my videos, I might have addressed why, you know, we decided to put up this building, the location was, but I would like to talk about a few of them in this video as well. So the very first one is um, the design. Why did, you know, we decide to, you know, go with a minimal house so we are able to, you know, move in. So the answer to that is, um, you know, as of um, around 2021, around October, that was when I, you know, I got married. That was, I was nearly, you know, married as of then. And we also had a son around, you know, um, that same, you know, year. So then it was, you know, time for us to, you know, basically start like a, a family. Uh, initially where we lived was um, a, a three bedroom house that I actually put up, but on my, you know, father's, you know, land so it's like uh, sort of like a family house like consider it as such so as a newly wedded or newly married uh, man always you know willing to start off you know life a family life i wasn't so much going to be convenient you know to you know having your family live especially within your family house so uh, for me it was uh, it was going to be best for me to you know have a place of you know our own where we don't necessarily have to you know always uh, yeah having it a lot to do with you know family as then so we lived there we lived at a, a family house for some time and where we had this building project you know con um, completed we moved in here so that was one of the main reasons why we decided to you know put up this building um, and that also inspired the size of the house as a then because we're considering funds also which is very important you know when you are embarking on a building project and i must say uh, looking at having something completed to be able to house my family family of three myself my wife and then our son um well we could have gone in for something bigger but going for something bigger also mean that you need a lot of money to be able to fund that and as we've you know we are newly wedded or married i uh, spent a lot of funds you know doing a lot of things so then uh, there isn't so much funds to put up a very big house and also it will also be best to be able to put up something which is complete you know which is going to be convenient you know to live in so that was how come we decided to go with a minimal house a one bedroom you know um self-contained house so yes that was basically what you know brought about the design um and as well as the build so you know that that was basically that so and then also fund and i'm sure you will be wondering how did we manage to fund the building within like that short time frame so from somewhere in december 2021 to somewhere in july that's like about seven months um 2020 you know about eight months here 2022 you know so as of then, I had, you know, you know, saved some monies. Um, yeah, you know, starting from your life, you have to be prepared for that. So um, some of those monies were what we started off with a building project with, and with time, a couple of work came in and the rest, and that also helped in completing it. Now, I must say that putting out that building, uh, we didn't buy everything with cash. We had to buy some of the things on credit. Now, thanks to the bigger uh, building project that we have over here, which had brought you know, some sort of trust between us and our you know, supplier, 
um, they were always willing to you know give out materials for you know on credit so we were able to pay over a certain um, time you know frame so that was also one of the things that helped assist or assisted in being able to complete the building now that's just you know quick uh, brief history information about why how and yeah now we've been living here for um about eight to nine months now and um i must say it's been so 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 great um first of all the location is perfect yes it's like a very perfect location where it is uh, our building is situated situated on top of a hill here at um Ashifla. around us are you know views of you know mountains all around us and sometimes early in the morning we experience a lot of you know fog around this place it gets you know Cool. Some people say actually say cold because yeah, they experience extreme weather conditions. But over here, I would say cold because of our uh, weather over here. Because most of the time it's sunny, it's a bit um, warm or humid. But you know, early in the morning it's very very you know cool or cold over here, and it's very very peaceful. Yes, very very peaceful. Now we do have neighbors around, but not immediate neighbors. So there are a couple of should I say small small villages which are around so even to my left down there there's a like a small village over there there's some around here but we are not so close to each other so we enjoy some you know peace over here it's very serene as and my wife is you know sleeping our son is on holiday so he's on vacation so he's currently not here with us so it's been very very peaceful over here um we've not encountered any sort of issue or challenges no not at all maybe um i don't you know, there's nearby towns where they have this um, information center. So early in the morning, you know, they, you know, play some music, give some announcements and then maybe advertise some products and the rest. That's sometimes early in the morning we do hear that. But aside from that, I must say it's been very, very great. So as of now, it's a, Saturday, a Sunday afternoon. We just, we came back from Chennai long ago and you can't hear for yourself. It's very, very quiet over here. If you are going to hear of any sounds, probably would be sounds of maybe cattle um beds um maybe goats yes that's some of the sounds you yeah, are going to hear but aside from that people fighting quarreling playing music you know you barely hear that over here so yes this is a perfect location for us and i wish it's going to stay like this for a very very long time yes yes and also i'm sure people may also be wondering how about security as as a safe over here so i can say that so far living here it's been very 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 safe we've not had any sort of theft issues, any challenges, no, not any at all. It's been very safe over here. And yeah, we've been enjoying that so far as well. So some of the things that people, I'm sure people may also want to know have to do with, uh, uh, you know, electricity. So yes, as you know, it's been a dream to leave off grid. So as part of leaving off grid, it's not relying on the national grid. So as you might have seen in some of um, the videos I have earlier, will have to do with, you know, using a solar system. So yes, um, our building is fully 100% powered with solar. We don't rely on national grid or any sort of energy aside from um, solar energy. And um, starting off with the solar solution, it took us a couple of months to have a complete solution. So as it stays now, the current solution we have is a um, 180 watt panel, nine pieces of that. So you can just do the calculation. We have a three kV um, inverter. Um, so that's what's you know, powering the house and then we have 400 age um, battery you know uh, of battery that's what we have so that's those are gel batteries so if you do the matter our, our inventor is a 24 volt system so yeah so that's um some of the things so we started out with our solar, our solar solution uh, solution very small we started out with like about two panels added up more uh two more maybe making a four and then eventually we added um, five more now the five was not done at a go it was done at a different time frame so and also i must say that i'm very happy we decided to start off with solar solution we started it off very early because since the last time uh, prices of solar products have gone very high so an example would be the um the panels i started off buying the panel 180 watt at around 600 cities and the last time I had to buy the, the remaining for the complete solution, I had to buy them around thousand something cities. So can you just imagine between just a period of it's less than a year or maybe I'll say a year, 
that the price has just increased and then that's of a 3k v inverter we bought ours for 3300 cds now it's between 5000 6000 some even 7000 depending on the build or the manufacturer of it so our timing was sort of like a perfect timing to have had our solar system so yeah now what we have as of now the solar system what does it power so it powers a lot of things it powers all our lights our fans our tv uh ion air conditioner yes you've seen an air conditioner it's it yes it's able to power that um as well as a water pump um blender food processor among um others so yes so upgrading has really really paid off and be using um a solar system for like about eight to nine months now so imagine if we're paying electricity bills probably you know we've saved some monies on that now our solar system didn't take a day to build we took us a couple of months to have the current solution that we have and that's one good thing about solar you can always upgrade when you start small so that's what's it's there solar system now aside from that because i'm sure you might have noticed in some of our videos that there might have been some changes or maybe additions to our um uh place here at Ashifla. It's one of the additions we have to do with the fence. So with regard to the fence, I started off with the bamboo fence, which was purposely for the frontal part of the house. And aside from that, we went ahead to construct a fence wall to you know enclose the entire um, you know area of the land. Now, with regard to the fence wall as well, I did this with my friend who's a neighbor. Um, she's still you know having a building um, done and i must say we didn't have all the monies that would have been needed for a fence wall at a time and this also come back to our supplier he agreed to give us majority almost every i think all the materials we got them on credit from the blocks about two thousand plus of blocks the steel iron rods cement we got all on credit the only thing we had to buy was just water sand and then we even had stones we didn't have to even buy so, so we got all these materials which was worth about 17 18 thousand plus all on credit to be able to you know um you know build the fence or so you know this really helps when you have your project done try as much as possible to you know stick to a good vendor and with time you're able to enjoy some of this and you know credit so you're able to pay over a certain time frame so yes we've had our fence work done um uh, that includes the entire size of the um building all the land except for the front part so as part of the piece we enjoy we also have this toad making noise yes so those are some of the sounds you hear uh so you could hear there so we have the fence wall enclosing the land and then we have the bamboo enclosing the frontal part of it now, aside from that some of the additions will also have to do with furniture you know completing this um building almost majority of the furniture we have here were built here so from the kitchen cabinet the sofa you might have seen my sofa um, the one that i built with a pallet so i built that myself over here aside from that from that i built a dining table small or minimal dining table out of pallet and aside from that doing the shoe rack also out of pallet and then our latest one which is uh, uh shelves which was also built out of pallet so you basically see pictures of these products that were all built out of pallet so we didn't have to really buy any furniture here the only furniture we bought our bed yeah that was also made out of pallet that was the only thing that we bought uh, in terms of like furniture wise but aside from that uh, everything else was made here from the kitchen cabinet our sofa uh, table a uh, minimal table as well as our uh, shelves and then the shoe um, the, yeah, the shoe rack all were built over here so it's really good to be a little bit handy trying to you know learn some few skills online and trying to implement them it really pays off because through doing that has saved um, us a lot of money being able to do a couple of things our, ourselves over here so that you know we don't have to spend so much money so those are some of the additions that has you know come so far with got to our uh, building here now aside from that also uh, with regard to water we are able to harvest rain water you know when it rains and when we run out of water and it's not rained we call on the water tanker to supply as water now going for it we actually looking at constructing a borehole now it's a little bit pricey constructing a borehole but regard to borehole you can't pay um part and then you know have it like 
pay up. I don't know if there's any company that does that. That would be great. So we pay within a certain period. What I know is once they come to site, you give them part of the money and once they're done, you pay the remaining amount of money. So this is sort of um, maybe um, an appeal. Um, sort of in case you are interested in supporting us to put up a ball that would be very much appreciated um so i'll try as much as possible to leave some links in the description as well as my mobile money number in case you just want to send us something for a borehole construction you can just send that and i'll be very glad if you could add maybe a note or an email after the you know transfer has been made so that i know that this is the person who sent me and the purpose is purposely for to support our borehole and maybe if we are able to raise enough money to have the borehole and after that then um you know we'll have some small commissioning of the borehole because it'll be good to share with you the process with the borehole you know drilling as well and also maybe have all the names of all those who might have you know donated to support the borehole you know on the borehole so anybody who comes around sees that this borehole was donated by these people so that'd be great to do so i would like to hear thoughts about that in the comment section in case you think it's a good idea if you'll be willing to support you know us in your constructor borehole that'll be good and that'll actually make our off-grid living 100 percent complete not relying on um you know power from the national grid and also water from the you know the comments we are actually having our own water that would be good too so i'd like to hear talk about that in the conversation now aside from that also um another thing i'd like to talk about to have to do with uh bio digester system that we have as well as the sukkawe system that we've had uh we have over here so it's been eight to nine months and we've not had to spend any penny to have um the sewage you know drawn out and that is as a result of using the bio digester once you stick to its rules or adhere to its rules yeah good so we've been using ours for like eight to nine months now we've not had any challenges or whatsoever in terms of smell in terms of it getting full we haven't to, you know draw it out because it, the size of the tank for the bio digester is very small and if it wasn't operating properly it would have been filled or full by now yes but that is not the case and our septic tank also you saw how we went ahead to you know construct it we've used about 10 or more um to, i can't quantify it in terms of liters because we use a lot of water since that time frame and we've had our you know, thousand liters tank filled a couple of times and we've been using that for a long you know a lot of time as well as the three thousand liters that we've had here so imagine the size of our sept um that is a um, sokawi pit if it wasn't also operating you know properly it would have also been filled by now but that's also not the case so that's like eight to nine months and it's still working perfectly so our solar system perfect our biodigester system as well as our soccer system is great um as well as other things that uh, we've been able to do the um the bamboo fence and then the fence wall yes yeah, so um i don't know if there's anything i haven't touched on over here um now you know location being perfect and also how i came by this location i actually have to do uh, big thanks to my friend carl uh, let me just mention her name yes so she actually identified this place and she decided to put up a building over here i came over i saw this place i also fell in love this with this place and i decided to you know, also have something done over here so that's how it's been so far and i can't wait for her to have a building completed so she can actually move in to enjoy this place as well so um i think i've spoken for like a long time in this video but uh, i'm glad to share with you how it's been like living here at ashifla uh, with our small family i've uh, been you know very peaceful over here enjoying our peace of course our son is uh, schooling so there's uh there are schools nearby so he's currently in montessori that you know we always take him to school and then go for him and uh, my wife is also you know I've been fortunate to have, you know, been able to relocate over here. So had a transfer from a previous place to so she's also working here. So, you know, we you know we are set and for my work I basically can work from home in terms of using the um, internet and then if I have to also um, go supervise building projects, I only have to drive there. So these are some of the things that has been possible to actually relocate from, you know, Greater Accra or that is the proper Accra to an outskirt of Accra because of some of these things. So in case maybe you uh, are also considering something like this, maybe these are some of the things you actually will have to take into consideration. 
having a remote work, um, having schedules that are not so tight, and you not being required to visit a certain location to work and the rest, then it will make it easier or possible for you to have a life such as this. So you are able to, you know, regulate how you go about things, have things done at your own pace and the rest. And yeah, eventually make some progress. So now I'm sure you might also want to ask, would there have been something um, that would have wanted to change with regard to this building and the rest? Well, not entirely. Maybe if there was a means, the only thing that we would have probably done would have been building something a little bit bigger maybe having two rooms instead of one but uh what we currently have is perfect i must say uh, because we haven't really had any guests so far but if you are going to have guests you know our container is still in there we've actually created a section in there which is able to house uh guests so that is going to serve that purpose for guests for some time until we try to have uh you know uh, actual building project done which initially we were looking at three bedroom but now we are looking at scaling down to two bedroom because of course cost <laughs> or the how big the, the bigger you go the more you're going to spend so we're also looking at um, saving with regard to that and i'm sure you may be asking what happened today so when that happens uh we don't know when that is going to be but maybe during that time frame probably may be able to give out this for rent or maybe you could use it entirely as an office or whatever it is but once we get there we'll be able to figure things out so that would have been the only change, maybe having something a little bit bigger if there was the means to do that. But aside from that, uh, I don't think I would want to change anything about this entire project or living here, moving here. I wouldn't change anything of it. So um, there you have it. I'm sure you find this video insightful. Thank you very much for always sticking around watching, um, learning from my videos, sharing your thoughts and comments and the rest. I really appreciate them all. And as I said, if you are interested in supporting the drilling of the ball, I'll we'll be very, very much glad to um, get your assistance. And then once it's done, we you all you know see it and yeah. So that'll be just about it. So thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.